Welcome to a, another episode of Focal Matter. This one's abroad, yet again. I've returned back to Fort Aventura, but this time not by myself, with my trusted companion, Tony. Last time I came here I shot Loma Chrome Purple and it was terrible. This time I wanted to come here and shoot something a little bit different so I actually brought Kodak Gold. However, the camera which I brought didn't seem to work quite well with it. It caught on the sprockets and then instantly thought it was done and then wound it back up into the canister after taking around two shots. But it's been a bit of a disaster. I found a film shop and bought another film roll so it's the last day so hopefully I can get something nice with it. Fingers crossed. Let's just see. Right, that seems to have caught. We seem to be on. Let's see what photographs I can uh, I can get for today. Starting with this sunset here. Now it's uh, quickly off to go meet Tony, have some breakfast, and see what we can shoot today. Good morning. I'm very excited. We're going to go into the sea, I think. And then, uh, yeah. I'd interrupt while I'm editing to let you know that the audio is f***ed, so I'm here to translate. Basically, I say, after the fun times at the beach, Tony went for a nap because we're adults and we can do whatever we want. But I found this abandoned football pitch that I thought I'd try and take photographs of, so you should watch me manly vault 
over this wall is basically the essence of what I said. wandered into, by the looks of it, a derelict hotel resort, which I'm not too sure how safe I am here. see but they're all open I don't know what security is here by far one of the most beautiful locations I've ever been to, especially to shoot film. I also just wanted to interrupt here and toot my own horn a little bit, as I never toot it, but this is my favorite photograph I have ever taken, period. So, yay me, yay. You like something, you do. stuff's coming up in the future and we're gonna go find some of that stuff in England although you don't get that sunlight and those angles and those colors here I'm so happy I had Kodak gold with me today because I'm hoping they come out lush <laughs> hello guys I'm Tony and I'm gonna show you my ride you got your indicators make sure they're both working Right up in the center. Yeah, I didn't take many photographs here, but I think me and Tony got a bit too giddy and just enjoyed these scooters way too much more than normal adults should do. I mean, I guess I learned that under the influence of alcohol, I turn into a massive balding child. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
so we kind of just got really drunk last night so that kind of concludes the holiday as you can see Tony's hanging out of his ass behind me and the moral of the story is abandoned hotel resorts are really cool I didn't really ever rate Kodak Gold the last time I shot it, but in the right environment with sunlight and warm tones, it goes hand in hand beautifully. I absolutely will be shooting Kodak Gold again to catch those summer vibes and those warm tones, but I probably won't be taking my friend Tony again. Well, because he's a 